How's your family? That must have been a very scary couple of days when you hadn't yeah, heard from anybody. Yeah, it took six days before we found that the, the, our kind of oldest aunt and uncle were okay. And that was obviously nerve wracking. Um, but thank God they're fine. They sent us, you know, they sent us a video right away, a phone video, and we were, I was just crying, and Tiana was crying. We were all crying. It was, it's just, you know, you don't realize, you know, until something like that happens, how much you are tied to people and love them, even though you don't see them every day. And how scary the situation there is. Yes. Um, when did this become something that wasn't just a theoretical conversation of like we got to do something? What can we do to? We're a power couple. We can make this happen. We can we can get support behind us. You know, it was immediate for me. It was it was basically okay. What are, what are we gonna do? We have to do something. This is really bad. Once we started getting the reports of how bad Puerto Rico was hit, we were like, oh my god, okay. And then we couldn't get in touch with anybody. And then it wasn't really being covered on the news as much as it should have been, you know, because we had the whole Miami and Houston. And, and I was just like, what's going on? What is going on? And then when we got <clears throat> ports back and Governor Cuomo went down there and he's like, it's much worse than you think. And then the governor of San Juan was putting out her tweets. And I was like, oh, wow. And so it was, um, it was immediate for me. It was immediate for me and um, for Alex and for Mark. We, were, we wanted to do something. We knew, well, we wanted to do something. We knew we had to do something. It was one of those things that we just didn't, it wasn't a, it was a no-brainer.